Karnataka appoints 15 member commission for state education policy former UGC chief Thorat to chair the commission Inspire Manak's 10 NLPC showcases over 7,5308 innovative projects Students shine at G20 Quiz 2023 showcasing academic excellence and camaraderie IIT Madras trains rural students on advanced scientific concepts like 3D printing. University body publishes list of mandatory disclosure for universities. Good afternoon warm welcome you watching the Education News Network, where you get the latest developments in education at the top of this hour. This is Shilpa reporting from Education News Network today's stories are. The Karnataka government on Tuesday issued a government order to constitute a state education policy commission for preparation of draft Karnataka state education policy and has appointed former UGC chief Sukhdev Thorat as the chairman of the commission. Thorat is also an eminent educationist, economist, professor, and a writer. The government has constituted a 15-member committee consisting of retired IS officers, writers, professors, retired professors to draft the state education policy. In its order, the government has stated that the commission will undertake careful review of the school and higher education in Karnataka and will suggest policies to achieve a higher enrollment in the schools and higher education. The government has directed the commission to submit a report by 28 February 2024. National level exhibition and project competition of Inspire Manak was inaugurated by Professor Abhay Karandikar, Secretary DST on 9 October 2023 at IGSC, Indira Gandhi Sports Complex. The students from KIIT World School, Sona Road over 7,5308 brilliant ideas and innovations sourced from schools across all 36 states and UTs. Moreover, top 60 student innovators were felicitated by the esteemed Hobiali Asante Minister of India Dr. Jitendra Singh. The event was completely fruitful as students got to witness a plethora of exhibited models and remarkable talent. The visit to K. Dota Mangalam World School for the Interschool G20 Quiz 2023 competition was an enriching experience for our students. It not only showcased their academic prowess but also allowed them to connect with students from different backgrounds, fostering a sense of camaraderie and sportsmanship. HT Pace G20 Quiz 2023 was organized by HT Media Ltd. Pace. The quiz competition featured rounds of challenging questions covering a wide range of G20 summit. The questions were designed to test the participants' knowledge, critical thinking, and problem-solving skills. Our students performed admirably, displaying confidence, teamwork, and exceptional knowledge. The main objective of the G20 Summit Quiz Competition was to raise awareness about the historical background of the G20 Summit. In addition to the competition, our students had the opportunity to interact with their peers from Care Mangalam School and other participating institutions. This provided a platform for intellectual exchange and the cultivation of new friendships. The collaborative spirit of the event was truly heartwarming. We extend our gratitude to KR Mangalam School for hosting this event and for their warm hospitality. Such events play a pivotal role in the holistic development of our students and contribute to their overall growth. IIT Madras, in collaboration with tech to learn is implementing the Device Engineering Lab initiative in rural schools of Tamil Nadu. This project aims to impart practical knowledge of scientific concepts and 3D printing to students in classes 8 to 11. It involves connecting IIT Madras students with their rural counterparts, fostering a culture of making an entrepreneurial mindset. The teaching approach is experimental and hands-on, focusing on 3D printing using the FDM technique to create device components and toys. The initiative involves content preparation, documentation, and student interaction to promote practical learning and interest in STEM subjects among rural students. M. Jagdesh Kumar, Chairman, University Grants Commission, explains, of late different stakeholders in higher education systems such as prospective students, parents, research scholars, government officials, alumni and public at large desire to seek certain basic information from the websites of different universities' higher educational institutes. We have found that the websites of several universities lack not only in providing basic minimum information related to their university but also at many a times their websites are not functional and updated. The decision therefore to direct universities and higher educational institutions for uploading basic information is being taken to avoid the inconveniences and uncertainties caused to the stakeholders, he added. As per the University Grants Commission, the following information is the minimum mandatory disclosure for universities to be uploaded at their respective website. That's all for today. Thank you for watching Education News Network. More such videos log on to our website www.educationnewsnetwork.com. Don't forget like, share and subscribe.